Uh, you can leave your personal belongings if you're going to reboard. Please do not get involved in the altercation or you will not reboard. And Have a good day. We're gonna have a great day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a great day. Have a good day. Bye. 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 So this Karen, I guess, wanted to take off her mask on the flight, and then she was saying have a good day to somebody else, and then she got kicked off? Is that what happened? I guess? That's what I got from it. Well, all I can say to you is, have a good day. Because that's what you were saying. You're crazy. You're a lying crazy b**** Look behind you, you're frustrated. I have signs up all over the building. I have to recite to service to everyone. I'll wait and tell him. You're the one's the problem, not me. No, He's the you're one crazy. My... I'm gonna move you out. I have the option to move you. I want to touch it off. I can physically move you if I want to touch it off. You're touching my merchandise. Stop shoving me! Get out of the building. Stop shoving me! Stop shoving me! <laughs> Stop shoving me! Right here. So he physically picked her up and just right here. took her. <laughs> I feel bad laughing, but I feel like he's kind of warned it. He told her to leave. She was touching the merchandise. She didn't want to leave. Like these people are just so like, like I always say, like, do you not have anything better to do? She claims someone spit in her face, which I didn't see any spit on her face. I'm gonna say that probably wasn't the case because if someone did spit in her face, at least if someone spit in my face, I would not be as calm as she was and just say I'm standing right here. I would throw hands for sure. But the fact that he literally picked her up after saying he was going to and she's like, you can't, and then he just did, that made my day. So, fantastic, love it. And that is discrimination. I can't. This is for the safety of all of our employees and customers. Throws your mask, okay. I need you to follow me around, oh, I'm okay? Sorry. I know gonna... my way out. All right, I'm just making sure. Because that's going to get you hurt. I, oh. I've... Here you are. Yeah, I got to keep everyone safe in here, so. Yeah, the door's right there. I know my way out. Go ahead. Yeah, I know my way out. Okay. Better point because I'll take this much. I'm sorry. Uh, you can't come in here anymore. I'm sorry about that. Good because oh, I don't I'm... even live here. Okay. <coughs> Ugh. Just disgusting. Why do that cough? Why threaten with violence? Like I always say, what's the point? You're in the wrong. Just, just leave. Simple as that. Because you know what? Let's play this one out. Let's say you beat this girl up. Now what? It's like you now just caught an assault charge and potentially lost your job. I don't know what else, but like you just you just don't look like a nice person. So me just being honest. Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein. You know you gotta smash that like button for some more Karens, because who doesn't like Karens? Actually, no one does. And that's okay. That's why we're gonna smash that like button and get into it. Yeah, man, you can't talk like that. We're in class. I want to know how that movie with people making out is pertinent to high school education. <laughs> I've already called the principal and I'm calling Mr. Daly as well. Okay. You need to teach and actually educate students. You're getting paid to do that. He is. He's a good teacher. He's a good teacher. You wouldn't know. You have a little break. It's only the last day. What do you want? What do you want him to do? Make us write an essay? Didn't ask for any of your opinions. And we didn't ask for yours. You see how that works? And we didn't ask for yours. We didn't ask for yours. You see how that works? Oh, I feel like a lot of you guys say that to me when I comment on these videos. But guess what? I'm giving you my opinion anyways, baby. Just take it for what it is, because here it's coming right to you. It's like Dragon Ball Z, but it's my opinion. You ready? Here it comes. Uh, it's my opinion coming right at you. That's right. Yo! Oh, <laughs> Jeez, bro. No, it's not enough! Park your car. No! Like, what the hell? You better get the away from me. Yeah. Yeah! We have a car. Yeah, this is a road wheel over here, man. Can you please move Everyone better stop yelling at me right now. It's not enough. Listen, you short piece of shit. Okay? Oh, that. She told me when I started fucking pieces. Baby, grow some. Oh, no, I'm not moving. Listen, listen. You heard me, sir? Oh, no, not good enough. You can chop all the. 
you want, all you Hawaiians. Uh, okay. The white ladies uh, crazy. You can talk all the stuff that you want, you uh, mother. Enough. No, it's not enough. It is not. Okay. Okay, this is like a low hanging fruit because I could easily make tons of jokes and be like, what's going on here? I gotta, I gotta empathize for some reason. She must be going through something. No one gets that angry for no apparent reason. And I'm not saying that the people provoked her to get that mad. I'm saying there's something going on in her life that she's taken out on these people in this situation. I have, I refuse to believe that's her on a normal day. He's not gonna cry the whole time. Okay. What, what do you put on the next slide? Nobody can. I have to. What's your name? What's your name? Tabitha 9766. Thank you, Tabitha. You may not have a job tomorrow. I want to thank you. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. I apologize. Well, Tabitha, you did it to yourself. Uh, I guess Tabitha did it to her. I, I thought the girl's name was Tabitha. Tabitha didn't do it to herself. She made Tabitha do what Tabitha had to do. Get wrecked. <laughs> Whoa. Again, guys, like when I said there's something going on here, it's much deeper than what we're seeing here. Like, I don't know if they're on something, I don't know if they're going through something, I don't know what's going on here, but I find it so hard to believe that someone acts like this in public just on a regular day. I mean, I have seen my fair share of, you know, things in Toronto that I'm, I'm like, that's very questionable, but like, whew. Who are you? I'm Billy Eichner. And, okay, all right, so. And is this like TV or? Yeah, this is like television, uh, yeah. What television? I saw, like Billy on the Street. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's an internet thing? Uh, no, it's actually a TV thing and an internet thing. I don't like your attitude. Okay, I don't like yours. I'm on TV. Who, who gives a <laughs> shit? Who gives a shit about you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> so I saw this before, and I think it was on Twitter. I saw it was Billy's Twitter, and he made it just like matching people's attitude or something like that. <laughs> And it's funny because if you watch it again knowing that he's matching her attitude, he doesn't start off aggressive. She's the one being like, is this an internet thing? And he's like, uh, actually, today. and then as she gets more like rude and aggressive, he gets more rude and aggressive without her even realizing that's what he's doing and that's why it's so funny. Hi there, I'm in Petco in, um, in uh, Toronto. Okay, so I'm in Are you guys actually gonna sell to her? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I knew you guys. He said, Are you gonna actually sell to her? And the guy went, Oh, no. <laughs> so, so she's carrying the dog food to the front, and then they're gonna be like, We're not selling that to you. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny. He's just so casual about it, but it was very funny. So you could just, I can't imagine how the rest of it played out. But anyways, guys, that's it. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you smash the like button for a part two, and we'll see you soon. I'm just gonna keep saying, oh, that was instant karma. <laughs> oh, that was instant. That karma came instantly. But like, I'm sorry, you're upset that a movie in high school, they're showing high school kids, two high school kids making out, and you're upset about that? Oof, you got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of parenting to, to learn, if that's even a, a proper sentence. The point I'm making is I did much worse things in high school than just make out. That's the point I'm making. Where are your ancestors from? You're they're not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. <laughs> you better go back you to where your you're from. You just, you just no, you just walked into it. Just left my hand. Excuse me. Hey, 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 oh, oh wow. my God. Yeah, but she deserved it, oh my God. in my opinion. Again. Again. Yeah, you, you pushed her and she smacked you. That was uh, self-defense on her part. Wow. I, you know, you guys, like I always say, I'm not one for violence. She pushed the girl in the first place. It was self-defense, 100%, like the camera guy said. <laughs> and it's like, that's just the way it is. So, karma, that's it. No, what did you call me? No, that's not what you called me. Please, no, what'd you call me? Your medication. Say it one more time. Come on, I'm sure you want to say it.
Yeah, she grabbed she she uh grabbed me and called me the N-word. There was a seat. She needs to go. I would call the police if I wouldn't touch her. She's not gonna she's not gonna leave willingly. She hit you? I, I I don't know what she said at first, but apparently she she said what she said, and if that's the case, get her though. Woo! We'll get her out of there. Um, we are not taking a picture. Yeah, I already got you on camera, and in fact, that's it's nice. videotaped. I need You're to nice. leave my story. Okay. Well, you're on camera, all okay. of you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Well, it's going to the CEO tomorrow. Okay. And I'm not kidding, because I'm not a kid. I'm not 20 years old. I'm 48, okay. and that is legal. I don't okay. want to be threatened, ma'am. I'm Well, I'm sorry, orders. but no, you're not taking orders. You're making your own policy. Have a nice day. There you are. You're on video. And I'm sending it too, because you know what? I'm computer literate. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's like who? Uh, uh. What are you doing with your time? That you're gonna film somebody at the store? It's a pack sun. Like, I just, just. What are you trying to do? You have that. You have that much time on your hands. Uh, they upset you for whatever reason. You took the time out of your day to then film the employees who didn't want to be filmed for whatever reason, thinking you're gonna then email it to the CEO. Delete. We're talking about the CEO of PacSun, which the CEO is not gonna pick up this email, nor will he care. If he saw the video, he wouldn't have them fired because he doesn't care. That's just the truth. Just spitting facts right now here. He doesn't care. There's a fact. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein. We're reacting to some Karens because you know that's all we do around here. Let's get to reacting, baby. Let's smash that like button first. Yeah, I am not a member of Costco. Okay, you want me to get that taken care of? Yes. All right, you don't have to put your mask on for me to do that. I will not. Well, then come back in another time. She's sitting there like a child. That's what a child does. They just sit there, they stomp their feet, and they sit there. Again, this whole like no mask thing, anti mask, I've said it before. Like, I think whatever helps stop the spread of this is what we should all collectively agree to do. And I'll leave it at that. But it, like, there are certain areas, you know, even in Toronto, restaurants that are like, you don't have to wear a mask. But in certain areas where you have to wear a mask, that is the rule. So it's like, you know, you have to wear a shirt every store you walk into. I've tried it before. They've kicked me out without a shirt. I mean, you know. I'll say you're drunk at 12 o'clock noon and you shoved an infant. This video, that's why the cops are escalated coming. so quickly. I don't give a crap if you're drunk walking around like an idiot. Second you bring a child into it, that's when it becomes a problem of mine. I think you got a big problem. Yeah, big problem. You shoved an infant. No. You, you son of a bitch. I didn't do this. No, don't Let's... take me down. Uh, what a nightmare. I feel like that was Florida. I don't even know why. I just, I didn't believe this happens and I assume it's Florida. If you're from Florida, I apologize that you live there. I'm just joking, guys. I don't want you to get mad at me and you know go all crazy. So. Florida's great, <laughs> but I don't even want to address what happened in the video here. The idea of anybody doing that to a child, you know, why? Came all the way over and said, oh, I need to de-weed your property, but I'm gonna leave a big pile of you to I asked him very nicely, get that freaking camera off no, of me. I own my own property, I'm recording. recording You're on my property now. Oh, no, that is not your property. Are you sure your property is right here, old lady. Don't, don't even try to get that out of here. Oh yeah, that's Florida for sure. No, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. But I was a little confused there because where the, the argument was over the bushes or whatever was going on there. Came all the way over and said, oh, I need to de-weed your property, but I'm going to leave a big pile of you to But uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, again, these are minor things that like when I have a house of my own, I hope my neighbor isn't a complete psychopath. Because if they're like, hey, why isn't your grass cut? I'd be like, you really have that much time in your day that you're going to focus on my lawn not being cut? Like, why don't you get a job? <laughs> If you're a man, you come up, you put your phone down, come around the corner and have a go at me. Hey, you hit me already. No, I haven't hit you. You hit my phone. Uh, yes, not you though. But you hit my hand. No, I didn't. Yes, you're you a did. liar. You're a liar. It's your word against mine. You're a liar. Have I got her on come film? On, come around the corner and face me like a man. Okay. Put your phone in your pocket. No. No, yeah, or well, you're a coward. No. You're a low life ahead. little coward. Go ahead. Go run and hide under your wife's No, but... Under your girl's wife's Oh, actually, I'm gay. 
Uh, see, I've never understood, like I always say guys, like what's the point of violence? Let's say they went into that alleyway, let's say the phone was put down on an angle that we could still watch the fight, because let's be real, we all wanna see the fight. Regardless of who wins, it's like, now what? You know what I mean? Yeah, I found it on the floor just now, so the back the sign says four ninety nine. Yeah, but since it's labor it's not going No, that's that's not what your sign says and there's nothing on it, so I, I know. think it should be honored at whatever your sign says. I'm so. sorry. So and then honor it and on that too also I said if you want it today you can have it for nineteen ninety nine. That's how much I tagged you for. But if you don't, then that's cool. If you want to wait tomorrow sure. before you process, it'll be 24 no, hours. No, we would get the bag. But my thing is, why was the tag not put on the bag? No, the when tag you was on the bag. That's what I'm saying. The oh, tag no, was sir. on the bag. Well, it's no, okay. Sir. We'll it have the process out tomorrow. It'll we be would out like to purchase the bag for $20. You won't do it tonight. You won't do it tonight. No, okay, do it tonight. No, okay we will take this high, much okay. higher. I'm not sure. You're welcome to. That's a Louis Vuitton bag. And she wanted to buy it for $20 because it was mislabeled. I found it on the floor just now, so the back the sign says four ninety nine. I'm pretty sure that works on a Walmart. Definitely not a Louis V. Hey, I hope it was worth holding everybody up so you can harass some people in there. They're food workers, dude. They're food workers. I heard you yelling in there. Oh, I went in there. Instead of waiting in your car like a normal person, now nobody behind you gets to move. Nice job, Karen. You dumb. Oh yeah, get mad. Oh yeah, get mad. You're blocking everybody, dude. You know what, I just barely got my food. Oh, yeah, you could have pulled forward. You have to wait like everybody else. What makes you so entitled that you need to get your food before everybody else, Karen? That's what I thought. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm kind of on either side here. I think, I mean, assuming that this Karen stopped in an area where other cars couldn't get through, but I'm gonna say odds are he was waiting for his food too. I saw a little ticket in his window, so he was probably waiting for his food. So it's not like the food's gonna come out any faster regardless of where you're sitting in your car. I think he just made something out of nothing. Like this wasn't a situation that had to be turned into what it was. And I think the guy in the cars, I think he's a bit of a d if I'm being honest with you guys. You look like an idiot, you're a child. Trying to make you wear a mask. Hold up, shut up. You're a dork, look at giant. What are you gonna do? Come outside! Come outside! I'll beat that mask off your face! Like a fuck! I love seeing a grown man just get carried out of a store like a child. That was the highlight of the video. I'll beat that mask off your face! Again, this whole mask thing. Like, if you don't want to wear a mask, don't go to businesses that say you are required to wear one. Because what do you think is going to happen? Like, logically, I'm genuinely asking this to anybody that has that mentality or has friends that have been in this situation. You know, you have to wear a mask in a store. You walk in anyways. What do you think this is? Like, how does it play out? You think they're going to welcome you with open arms? You think they're going to be like, oh, you got to wear a mask, but you don't have to? Like, what do you genuinely think is going to happen? You got to keep your eyes on the road. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there it is. Mm. Oh, there's a cop there too, oh boy, all right. Uh, all a right. few moments later. This is brutal. I don't know what happened here, uh, but it sucks to suck. So I gotta keep your eye on the road. It's why I don't ever really try to get into any road rage. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous when you're driving and someone's playing and you're trying to yell at somebody because you're just straight up like car and you keep looking back like oh blah 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 and it's like boom, someone's walking into the car, you slam on the brakes and it's like is it worth it? Because now you're, you might as well be on your phone at that point. It's distracted driving either way, right? I think you should get massive tickets for road rage. I think 100% if a cop sees you road raging, 100% ticket, which I mean, I think maybe they give you one, but probably not. If you like get out of the car and fight, they'll give you one, but if you just yell at somebody, you know, it's distracted driving, bro. You're looking this way, you're looking that way, you're not looking right there. Years old. You and Alex, okay, you act like you're 80-something years old and your age don't matter. It seems like you're racist it, because it, you see me riding by and you tell a black person to go back to Oakland. So it's black people in Oakland, right? Ain't no black, Oakland. Ain't no black people in Alameda? There's more white people who live in all Oakland. All right, okay, well get your dusty, wrinkle bag, trash face <laughs> having the body here then. Don't tell no black person to go back to Oakland. You can't tell me where to go, all right? He said dusty, wrinkled, what did he say? Dusty, wrinkled face. Get your dusty, wrinkled bag, trash face having the <laughs> body here then. Oh my God, that was an insult and a half. I was not expecting that. Please guys, want to wish you a very, very happy and healthy new year as we are filming this on New Year's Eve. So assuming, yeah, you guys are gonna see this in 2021, unless you guys see it like years down the road when I have kids and I don't know, I'm in my 40s. But either way guys, happy and healthy new year. I've been your host, Jared Bronson. You've been watching Top 10 Central. Lots of love. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon.
Just spitting facts right now. Here, there's a fact. <laughs> Wasn't actually gonna spit, dude. It's COVID. That's gross. <laughs> Pew, what's up, mother? Is this your homie? All right. The Karen, it's like a little bit of a Karen, but I mean, she said she wasn't yelling. Apparently somebody else was in the store here. You know, I could get mad and be like, oh, I hate her, but I'm gonna call it like it is. The guy in the car just seemed like a huge <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Heading into 2021, just no bullshit, okay? <laughs> Somebody spraying disinfectant on them at the store. <laughs> what is even happening? And of course, Kesha is playing in the back. That's how you know that it's just chaos. Oh my gosh. I like so much is going on. There's so many people there. So many people at that Target. That guy's spraying disinfectant on people. And Kesha is just absolutely blasting. Like imagine going to the grocery store and having music playing that loud. It seemed like it was too much. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Kesha, I'm I hate it. I'm sorry, but they're allowed to see that. Why is this so glitchy? Everyone in here in America and enjoying America should speak English. I'm sorry, but they're completely allowed to use their own language. Feel free to please leave. I don't want to hear it. Oh my gosh. We talked about this in another video already. Why do people care? It's the sickest thing ever to be able to speak another language. If you want to speak another language that your friend also speaks, just drink your latte, lady, and leave them alone. What the heck is going? Why do people, why do people care? I don't get it. Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I am your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and we are going to be watching some more videos of Entitled Karens, which you know that I love, but they are getting instant karma, which is really just mwah, chef's kiss. Let's get into it. I'm looking for my phone. Why is your phone in my house? Why is my phone in your house? Good question. Is it in your house? Oh no. You're gonna have to explain that to the cops. I Ooh. didn't take, did you grab my phone when I set it down when I was showing you this? I didn't touch your phone. Where's my phone? Oh wait. Did you take my phone? What is happening? You're a horrible liar too, dude. Where's my phone? How'd you get in my house? I didn't touch your house or go in your house. I was knocking on the door. Well, we're going to stay separate until the police get here. So we don't... I can't give it no to you. It's my way. proof that you're in the house. I wasn't in your house. Well, somebody was. Oh my gosh. So that guy robbed that guy or just broke in. I don't know. I just added that he took something because I wanted it to be more dramatic. Not that breaking into somebody's house isn't dramatic. So it's pretty dramatic. But so that guy broke into his house and then left his phone, but then came back being like, why do you have my phone? What is going on? Babe, help! Help! Oh, I've Babe, seen help. people do this Babe, on TikTok. Help. She thinks she's sneaky. Time to get it down. Ooh, that was sick. Oh, yo, I wonder if that was like real or if they staged it. Do you guys know? I hope that was real because he probably felt like, I don't know, a, a, the airbender or something. I don't know why the airbender was the only thing that came to my mind, but you see where I was going with that train of thought. That was just cool. That was cool. You'd feel good about it. You'd be like, don't prank me again. Oh, influencers in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was she taking pictures on his car? Oh. Ooh, that's awkward. I think he's like speaking Russian or something, so I don't actually know what he was saying and maybe she did ask for permission. But if she didn't ask for permission, that would be so awkward. Oh, ooh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that to happen because I 
I, I knew, I knew that that was, that's what those things do. They move like that. I don't know why she thought that was a good idea. I don't know why she didn't realize that it was moving. Like there's a, I have a lot of questions, but that all in all was hilarious. I loved it. <laughs> That's what happens. Don't be mean to teachers, man. Like, that is a hard job. Don't get me wrong. There are bad teachers out there, and I had some of them. But a lot of teachers are really just trying to do their best, and kids can be so rowdy. And was he eating KFC? I mean, if you're gonna eat KFC in class, I feel like you're living in a lack of luxury. So just be nice, be respectful. You know, if you wanna do your little doodles and you don't wanna pay attention, that's fine. But don't distract everyone else. Some people are there to actually get an education. You know what I mean? Oh, it's going through. Oh, oh, because that's why you don't park in front of a fire hydrant. That's why it's illegal. Well, that's what happens. Oh man. Oof. Is there like a part two where the owner of the car like freaks out seeing this? Because like they would have to understand, you know? That's like, that's the consequence to the decision that you made. So you gotta deal with it now, I guess. That is crazy. I guess what else would they do? So you knew the law and you decided to, is it a law everywhere? In the comments, let me know what country you're from and if that's a law in your country. No parking in front of a fire hydrant. Does everywhere have fire hydrants? I, I have a lot of questions. I don't know a lot about fire emergency services. So somebody enlighten me, please. Parkour. Me. Oh no. I didn't Oh my. You sure? Oh my gosh. Okay. That first one was enough where I was like, okay, that was silly. That was almost like an accident. Like everything was just, you know, like whatever. I was like, yes, that was enough for me. Was not expecting that second part to happen. Holy smokes, that was very dangerous. And I'm glad that everyone seemed to be okay because that was kind of scary. <laughs> yep, that's what happens. Oh my gosh, you guys, you can't do that in the middle of traffic. I get it, you like it, you want to do it, you like cars, you want to drive them. I totally understand that and you should be able to do that. But you can't risk other people's lives because you want to drive your car crazy. That's not the road that everyone else drives on. That's not what that's for. That's for people going to work right now and that's it. Yeah, let me be the first one to say I should whoop your mother ass going through my goddamn car. Put my back in my goddamn car. What oh, no are you doing? Way. Put my back in my mother car. Get your goddamn ass out my shit. Put my shit back in my goddamn car. Turn your mother ass. Get the fuck away. Oh my gosh. Oh, but thank God he caught her though. Honestly, like, that would suck. That would suck. Honestly, Finding out that your things have been stolen, so frustrating, it's so annoying. So I'm so glad he caught her and honestly, I bet she was freaking out. Oh, why is he so rude to the cat? Ew, I didn't like that at all. Ha <laughs> ha 
yeah, that's what happens when you're rude AF. Am I allowed to say that? I don't even know, but that's what that was. He was being rude AF. I, I hate that, man. Take your weird sunglasses and get away from me. I don't want to make fun of his sunglasses because that was mean. But like, why? Why did you have to be rude to the cat like that? Now you got this video and you're the one who looks silly and the cat looks cool. He went, mm, that's revenge. All right, guys, that is all the videos we have today. Let me know below in the comments which Karen you thought was the craziest. Thank you so much for watching this video, sticking it out with me, hanging out with me for a little bit. I'm going crazy in lockdown, but I appreciate you. I've been your host, Olivia Kosolovsky, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I am your host, Olivia Kozlowski, and today I'm going to do that again because I have been looking at myself and not looking at the camera, which is not what you're supposed to do, which is why these selfies are hard for me. That's what we're here for, having a good time. You know what I mean? No rudeness, but all fun. That's... Mm -mm -mm. And five, four... Oh, I don't know why I started from five this time. Three, two, one.